Trip of One's Own by Kate Wills, published by Bonnier Books, and this is a memoir. The author is a travel writer, and she had um, a marriage, a very short-lived marriage, and this is the memoir um, that is the aftermath of that marriage, and how she learns to feel comfortable in her own skin traveling solo. She has researched some of the amazing women travel writers who just don't get the publicity that their male equivalents have. So she goes back to um, 300 odd AD when Egeria was the first known uh, travel writer, perhaps a nun, who knows, um, and she was in the Levant. And so her opening um, part of the book is that she goes to Tel Aviv and she goes to Israel and Palestine to kind of follow in the footsteps uh, in modern day of Egeria's um, traveling that she took so many centuries ago. She then looks through um, different travel writers, some of whom I've heard of, some of whom I've never heard of. Um, uh, there is one woman who um, decides to ride a bike and she is the first sportswoman to travel around the world where she invites companies to pin things to parts of her bodies as a kind of advertisement. Um, so, you know, there is ingenuity, there is slight madness. And of course, there is Nellie Bly, who um, I know very well from a novel I read by um, Louisa Traeger, which is called Mad Woman. And Nellie Bly uh, was an intrepid reporter who incarcerated herself in a women's prison um, just off New York. And uh, she wrote about what was happening there and there was an awful lot of cruelty and what she wrote about actually changed things for the better. She also traveled the world. Um, you know, people, women walk around the world, women do all kinds of amazing things, but they're just not um, recorded like men are and this is somehow a, an inspirational um, method that she's used to actually kind of drive herself forward to look at all these amazing women that, who have gone before her. So after um, being in Israel-Palestine she moves on to China and um, quite amusingly, quite frighteningly, she kind of gets lost uh, when she arrives there because she really, really can't read the script and she's supposed to meet up with a group of fellow um, journalists and they only just meet up in the nick of time. Um, there are lots of uh, interesting uh, places she visits. She goes to India and she has three months there and she knows she can survive it. India is a very difficult place uh, for women traveling on their own. Um, you know, there's a lot of um, abuse of women in India still, and uh, but she survived it. And she uses that as her kind of basis for anything that hits her while she's on the road. She knows she can deal with it. Um, and so this is a very descriptive, um, very uplifting and quite inspirational book um, of her travels and of the women who went before her. Um, she also has some really good bits of advice um, at the end of most of the chapters. She charts out her learning and suggestions for women traveling solo. So I think all in all, um, it's beautifully written. It's really engaging. It takes you to different parts of the world. Um, she is quite happy to share her feelings and thoughts. So I think A Trip Off One's Own, which actually could inspire you to travel on your own um, by Kate Wills, is, has been for me a really interesting um, and delightful memoir to read.